It's week 40 of Zerf for Destiny 2, and I'm going to give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way, you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, it is week 40 of Zer, and Zer is located on Earth by the Winding Cove, so we're going to mark him and find out what he has this week. I actually have another video coming out very soon, and it talks about the meta, so if you guys want to watch that, then stay tuned. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Tractor Cannon, which is a void exotic shotgun. And turn the perk on this is Repulsive Force, which this weapon emits a powerful impulse that pushes enemies away, suppresses their abilities, and makes them more vulnerable to void damage. Then we have Extended Barrel, Particle Repeater, the Scientific Method, which damaging an opponent temporarily increases speed and handling. Then we have Composite Stock, and like all exotics, they come with a plus 5 weapon attack mod. Now, this thing is decent in PvP, but definitely a lot more used in PvE, especially on Escalation Protocol, when you're getting to those higher tier um, battles. So when you get into like those level 5, 6s, and 7s, Tractor Cannon puts in work. It really does. So if you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. I'm probably going to rate this a tier 1.5 to possibly even a tier 2 in PvE. And PvP is probably going to get like a 2 to 2.5. Next side we'll be going over is the Actium War Rig for the Titan. This comes with one mobility, two resilience, and one recovery. And treasure perk on this is Auto Loading Link, which steadily reloads a portion of the equipped magazine, or uh, the equipped Auto Rifles magazine from reserves. Sorry about that. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Power Munition Loader. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's a great exotic to use in PvE and PvP. I'm definitely going to give it a uh, tier 2 in both. Uh, even though I'm not a fan of the whole, you know, certain type of weapons when it comes to certain exotics, auto rifles are actually in a good place for both PvE and PvP. So, this thing is amazing in Escalation Protocol. It's amazing in the raid, amazing in the raid lair. It's good in PvP. Especially when you have um, uh, Sweet Business, it's just good for the Titan. You know, it's just really, really good. So definitely go ahead and grab this. Like I said, Tier 2 in PvE and PvP, definitely worth your uh, Legendary Shards. Next is that we'll be going over is the Stag for the Warlock. This comes with 1 Resilience and 2 Recovery. In terms of perk on this is Dearly Departed, which... Uh, grants Rift Energy when you are critically wounded on your death creates a brief healing rift on your corpse. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Self Repairing Mod. Now, I am not a fan of the Stag at all. I don't like it in PvE or PvP, especially given that fact that it requires you to die to get the best or the most benefit out of it. And you obviously can't even use it. Everybody else has to, you know, so... I'm not too much of a fan of that. So I'm probably going to rate this a tier maybe 3.5 to even a tier 4 in PvE and PvP. I just wouldn't waste my time on it. Next is what we'll be going over is the Sealed Ahamkara's Grasps for the Awesome Hunter class. This comes with 2 mobility and 1 resilience. And trending perk on this is a Nightmare Fuel. Which, dealing melee damage, reloads your currently equipped weapon. Then we have uh, Mobility Enhancement Mod, Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, as well as Void Impact Mod. Now, these are okay. They're not really top tier, but they're, they're one of those exotics for you to mess around with to see what you do or do not like. So, I'm probably going to rate this a tier 2.5 in PvE and PvP, because there are better exotics out there than this. Next, let's go over our consumables. We have your three of coins, which when you pop one, you have a chance to get an exotic for four hours. 
And if you do not already have your uh, Five of Swords, go ahead and grab this. This is for your Nightfall Challenge card. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram. You get one exotic that you do not previously have for 97 Legendary Shards. Now, if you do not have one of these, by all means, go ahead and grab these first before grabbing a Faded Engram because you do have a chance to grab one, get one of these uh, when you pop a Faded Engram if you do not have one. So grab these first, Faded Engram. There's only one exotic that I'm pretty sure that I do not have for the Hunter. And, it, and if you enjoy this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.